In this training, we're going to do a deep dive on the chart view inside of Smart Suite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get in. Here we are, everything you need to know about the chart view at your fingertips inside of Smart Suite. Let's start by jumping into my screen here. And I, of course, need to start by suggesting that you get into a solution and into a particular app. So of course, views inside of Smart Suite live at the app level. So here I am in my product management solution and I'm inside of my user stories application. So in order to access the chart, first what we want to do is click on the views dropdown or the open the view listing here. And we're going to look at the different views that we already have built for this particular application. And these are determined by the plum colored symbol down here that says chart view if we hover over it and it looks like a bit of a graph, right? So that should give us an idea about what we're getting into with our chart. Yes, we're gonna be looking at data represented in some graphical format with the chart view. So let's look at these one by one and just get a feel for the different possibilities inside of our chart. So we'll go to stories by estimate to complete. So by clicking on here, we get brought into this lovely chart that is already prepackaged for us inside of this view. And uh, we notice that this type of chart is selected as the column chart. We've got a few different options here, actually quite a few different options. We can do horizontal bar, stacked, or 100% stacked, bubble, scatter. We can also do uh, vertical column, which is what we have, vertical stacked and vertical 100% stacked. We can do a heat map, amazing, uh, an area, stacked area, 100% stacked area, line chart, donut chart, and pie chart. So a lot of different ways for us to visualize the data that already lives inside of our Smart Suite apps. Now, once we've determined the type of chart we want to choose, now we have to pick how we want to organize that information and how we want to visualize it. So the first question here is asking for what we want. And in our case here, this is determining what is being selected along that X axis, right? And so for us, we picked estimate. And so we're looking at this estimate field here and we have a few different options and that is what's determining these different records and how they're getting grouped and added on the X axis. And we can also elect to group by a certain field. In our case, we've not done that for this example. And then we get into what are we actually graphing? So yes, we're, we're organizing this data by the estimate field as we've done and it comes up with these colors, but in our case, we want to look at the percent complete of that particular, and we want to look at the average, not the sum, although we have that option. We can also look at min or max. So we want to look at what's the average percentage complete for these different things that fall into this various stages, right? So inside this estimate bucket, we can see that we have a relatively high percent complete as compared to our other buckets or cohorts. So that's what is being mapped up on this graph. Now the last piece here is also our uh, benchmark line. So we can establish where we want our uh, benchmark to be. So if we're above that, great. And we see our target mapped out on the graph as well. We can also select these various sections and open it up and look at the records that make into that cohort. So we're looking here at the four different things that are being evaluated inside of this yellow uh, section right here. So that's just one of our charts. Let's actually dive into a couple more as well, since this is a relatively complex topic. We can also look at our chart stories by Epic. This one maybe is a little bit easier to visualize. What we've grouped the values by here is the Epic itself. So we have these various different options. You see up here on the legend or the key, we've got the customer portal, a B2B marketplace, reporting engine, and admin portal. This data comes from what we chose here in our values. And then again, we have the option to group if we'd like. Uh, in our case, we don't do that. And here we're looking at the chart total. And now we haven't selected a field here. So let's go ahead and say uh, percent complete. And maybe we want to look at the average here again. And of course, when we make those determinations, we get to look at what the average percent complete is up here on the side. And we have all of our data graphed out as well. Let's look at one final one here. We can go to chart stories by success. And this is showing us data on a donut chart that lives in that same app. So we can look in here. The values that we're using are the status value and we're grouping by count. And so you can see that in total, we have all these different status and we can look and see how much of our various 
records are in the different status. Of course, these charts are interactive. Again, I can click anywhere here and actually see what data is comprising that particular section. There is a lot to unpack with charts, but the big takeaway here is that charts allow us to visualize data on a graph or graphical type of interface. I know we went fast, so feel free to go back and rewatch if you have any questions. And of course, take charts out for a spin yourself and start experimenting with the different options. That's it for this one. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comment section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.